What's up everybody, this is Master Ian Gamer. Orisa is dead. Sigma is... wounded? He's gonna have to go through a few months of rehab, at least. And we've gotten some very interesting other changes on the latest PTR patch. So without further ado, let's delve into these details. First up, a decent little nerf for Hanzo, Storm Arrows, damage reduced from 70 to 60. Now, this is simplistic in that it's just a simple numbers nerf, basically. I don't think anyone's gonna really complain about this. In fact, I think this is largely gonna be appreciated. Hanzo's fairly strong, at least in the higher ranks. So yeah, good nerf right here. McCree, general base health increased from 200 to 250. What? I'll admit, my go-to hero when I think of a 200 health hero is McCree, and now he has 250 health. I'm not entirely sure why they went this route. I guess to give him a bit more sustain at close range where he can use his flashbang and fan the hammer. An odd change. I don't, I wouldn't say I dislike it by any means. A very odd change though. He did get some others though. Peacekeeper primary fire recovery time increased from 0.42 to 0.5. 5 seconds, meaning that his revolver fires a bit slower now. And Deadeye, firing Deadeye no longer locks the player's aim, which means they can more easily move around to hit different targets. So I think both of those are decent as well. I think nerfing the fire rate is probably appropriate. And the Deadeye, sure, Deadeye is not that great to begin with, so it's nice that it got a buff. Reaper, the reaping passive, healing amount reduced from 40% to 30% of damage dealt. Now, this was a long time coming. <laughs> I don't think there's anyone who's going to be upset about this. Yeah, this basically needed to happen. Thank goodness they're finally getting around to it. Orisa. Oh, Orisa, what have they done to her? Fusion driver damage reduced from 11 to 9. Fortify cooldown increased from 8 to 10 seconds. And halt snare duration reduced from 1 second to 0.65 seconds. Oh my goodness. Now, I don't want to panic, and I certainly don't want to get you guys panicking. This was clearly done because of how oppressive she is at higher ranks, and so I understand why they did this. I feel like this is going to have a devastating effect at lower ranks. We're going to have to wait and see. If there's one thing I do not want to have happen, is for people to just automatically assume Arisa is now trashed here, because that's not necessarily the case. If you're playing at like Platinum or something, and you're good with Arisa, you're certainly still going to be able to to get good utility out of using her. It's not like she's unplayable by any means. This nerf was overall just to reduce the effects of her on the higher ends, nerf the double shield meta, which could possibly just be outright gone following this patch, especially considering the Sigma nerfs, which I'm going to get onto now. Hyperspheres range reduced from 22 to 20 meters. This is where I was talking about the rehab bit. That is going to be such a pain to relearn the range on his hyperspheres. Just messing around with him on the PTR. Already, I'm like, all those months of getting used to figuring out the angles of shooting his spheres, all that's going to have to be relearned. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to that. Although, admittedly, I don't think this is a bad nerf. I think it's probably justified for similar reasons to Orisa, where she's super strong and higher ranks. But there are other nerfs for Sigma, which I do want to get to. Gravitic Flux can now be interrupted before targets begin falling. Impact slow duration reduced from 0.9 to 0.6 seconds. And Accretion explosion damage reduced from 60 to 40. So the Accretion bit, eh, that's alright. Yeah, it's going to do slightly less damage. I don't think that's really going to be that impactful. The Gravitic Flux one, the slow duration, yeah, that's a pretty big nerf to it. I actually kind of like the interruption change where he can now be stunned after he's lifted people up and it seems like the targets aren't going to take the smash damage anymore after you know he's interrupted if they haven't started falling yet. I kind of like that. I feel like that's how it probably always should have been. It just makes it a bit easier to actually counter the ult and forces the Sigma player to use a bit more strategy I guess you could say when you're using it since now you have to be more careful that you aren't going to get stunned mid use of it. So I actually really like that nerf because I think it just makes sense. And 
last, before I start talking about my overall thoughts on all this, Baptiste was also nerfed a bit. Biotic Launcher, Primary Fire, Recovery Time increased from 0.36 seconds to 0.45 seconds. Biotic Launcher, Secondary Fire, Heal Explosion reduced from 60 to 50. Again, just some simple number nerfs here for Baptiste. Nothing too drastic. Probably the healing nerf is going to be the most devastating if I had to guess. But I think these were done for the similar reasons to Sigma and Orisa, which is that Baptiste is super duper powerful at higher ranks. And that basically seems to be the trend overall with the changes we're seeing in this patch. Very clearly, these changes were made for the most part to hit the higher end of the skill ladder and just try to nerf the heroes that are really oppressive and must picks up at the top. I honestly can't help but wondering if all these changes are somehow tied into the big announcement we're going to get next week with the dev update, where there's apparently going to be some new system that makes balance patches more quick and helps to just increase the flow of the meta. I'm wondering if their plan is to just throw out big nerfs like this to meta heroes, like with not much regard perhaps for how that's going to affect the other ranks. Like maybe once a month we just get hit with with some big thing like this that targets all the meta heroes and just brings them down. Maybe this is their way of just constantly mixing things up by just slam nerfing the heroes at the top, seeing where they fall, and then after the fact, slam nerfing whoever ends up at the top again. Now that may be a bit of a pessimistic take on what they may or may not even be trying to do, but it is safe to say that they're, they're willing to hit hard. They're willing to hit the heroes hard who are up at the top, and I'm very curious to see where this ends up going. Typically, I'm open to seeing what Blizzard ends up doing with their changes and their balance patches and whatnot. Basically, anything short of just flat out removing Wrecking Ball's grappling hook, I'm basically okay with. But I have to say, these were some impactful nerfs, and I'm interested in seeing what they end up doing to the meta. I do think there is a good chance that this will finally conquer the double shield meta, which pro players have been seeing quite a lot of. And the question really is then, how is this going to impact the rest of us farther down the ladder. Overall, I really think this is a situation where we just have to wait and see what happens. This could tie into whatever Jeff was talking about for the dev update in some way we can't even predict yet. Maybe these changes will somehow make sense with whatever their new system is? I don't know. We'll have to wait and see again, but I would love to hear your thoughts down in the comments below. I'm sure there are going to be several very, very upset comments, and I can understand that, but I would just say, you know, don't get too excited excited just yet. We'll have to see how it plays out. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed this video and share it with your friends if you really liked it. Subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and hit up the bell to never miss any of my future Overwatch content. This is Master Ian Gamer signing off, and until next time, have a great day.